Uh, just to give a little bit of context, by the way, we are at the Birchbox headquarters uh, at 19th and Park Avenue South in Manhattan. Um, if you go off at my birthday, it's really awesome to be here. So that kind of leads into our next subtopic here, what do you like, like in a startup? So can you maybe a little bit more about, you know, you walk in the office at work, you know, you leave at what time, and what does your day look like? How do you structure it? How do you manage other people? Every day is different, and also my job has fundamentally changed basically every two months since we started. Um, in this time last year, we were commuting to Brooklyn. Um, there were only four of us. We were basically sitting at a cafeteria table in another startup office, um, and we were trying to launch a website. We didn't have customers yet, so it was a lot of brainstorming. Um, a strategizing, um, making what what does this company do, what does this company not do. Um, on the phone a lot with the vendors. Um, it's the first check we assigned for the first tents and boxes we bought was the scariest thing I've ever done. We weren't funded at that point, so I was like, we better <laughs> sell these boxes. So that type of day, like pre-launch, very early stage before funding is very different than the type of day I have now. Um, so now we have these big offices on Park Avenue, um, and there's 30, over 30 people that work here. Um, and I've, I just manage people. I manage people who manage other people, um, which is a big change. So you know, through the fall and through the winter, I can teach myself how to manage eight people at a time directly, who are like direct contributors, people right. doing the options, doing the marketing, doing finance, um, but managing their bosses. It's, it's thinking about strategy and long-term vision, organizational development, um, yeah, making sure all the wheels are moving um, in the right direction. Right. So, uh, like a daily structure that you follow, a weekly thing? I know some companies I do wish. Like, a monthly thing. <laughs> I wish. So we, um, we do weekly what we call dashboard meeting, so everyone at Birchbox knows what the most important things are for our business. We check in on a regular basis to see how we're tracking. We use a stoplight system, so our things are yellow, green. We talk about if they're yellow or red, why, um, what we can do to make sure that the next time we meet they're not yellow <laughs> um, or red. Sorry. Um, and everyone keep focus because the day is just about execution. Um, the monthly production cycle that we're on me that we're always busy. As soon as you close one box, the next box is right around the corner. Uh, just to give a, uh, some more context to people who don't exactly what Birchbox is. Yeah. Uh, basically, you send a few samples out in a monthly box to your, or in a box monthly to your mm -hmm. customers, and they can try them out. And if they really like them, they can go on your site and buy these exclusive and really. Right. Exactly. So we cover the whole purchase cycle from discovery. So we introduce people to new high-end products that they might not have tried otherwise. We personalize those products to their beauty profile um, based on the information that they give us. Um, and we only work with brands we love, and most of our products are cult favorites or, or newly launched products. Um, so I really like getting their hands on those. We have a lot of content, so editorial is really important to us. Um, we need to replace the experience of talking to a beauty advisor at a department store, for example. So if we send on um, a eyeshadow primer and they don't know what eyeshadow primer is, we feel it's our responsibility to make sure they get the most out of that product. So we have a lot of videos, um, how-to videos, trend videos, editorial videos. Um, we have a blog, and we do like long form articles, sort of like what you read in a magazine. Um, and our hope is that it gives the customers um, the info they need to get the most out of the samples in their home and also inspires them to possibly buy full size versions of those products um, or products even that have it sampled because they learn to trust us and our, um, our voice. So that is what I was hoping would kind of lead into. Uh, so you're on basically a monthly schedule. My question is where all these boxes get produced. That's not in here, is it? That's not part of your monthly schedule. Thank goodness. I mean, it's a very important part of our schedule, but it doesn't happen in this office. Um, Kathy and I were back in 
school just testing the concept during the beta. We were packing your boxes each month ourselves. Very hands-on at the beginning. We got to watch a lot of really bad reality TV while we did that, <laughs> the folding and tying. Um, but once we launched in September, we needed we needed to make that more scalable. Um, so we at first we borrowed space in a warehouse and had some temp workers help us out. Um, but now we have what's called a third-party logistics company that handles all the fulfillment and shipping for us. Wow. So the reference point, when did you guys get started? So the idea um, was, came to us around Thanksgiving of 2009, um, and we quickly went from idea to proof of concept, the beta, um, which was beginning of 2010, and then launched our business almost a year ago in September of last year. Well, congrats again.